It's Halloween, it's Serial at Midnight, and we're talking Halloween TV specials from the famous to the obscure to one that never actually even came on TV at all. It's Halloween specials on Serial at Midnight. Hello and happy Halloween from Serial at Midnight, the official YouTube channel of <sighs> SerialAtMidnight.com. My name is Heath. I'm glad you're here because this is uh, this is the Halloween special. Uh, a Halloween special video from Serial at Midnight about Halloween specials. Uh, guys, I, I can't begin to cover like all the Halloween specials that exist. So I've picked five uh, that are a mix of famous and uh, some are kind of obscure. Maybe you've never heard of them. We'll see. Uh, and then one that is a curveball that I had to talk about. Um, so jumping right in, uh, we got to talk about It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. This is probably the most famous Halloween special. Some would say that this created the Halloween special. I'm not sure. I know it goes back to the 60s and that is, uh, it's 1966. So that is very far back in the cycle of the Halloween tradition. I don't know. But this is like, for me in my house, we watched this earlier in October and then we watch it sometimes the middle of October, and then we always watch it on Halloween night. Uh, we usually watch this two to three times in my house, and I noticed that this year on American television, it came on twice. It may still come on again, I'm not sure, but it, uh, it's come on twice during October, so I'm not the only one. Uh, it, it, a lot of people would say, hey buddy, it ain't Halloween until it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. And uh, I will just say like really quick, like this is such a cool special. Charles Schultz, the creator of Peanuts, had such a weird sensibility uh, because we have, you know, Linus sitting in a pumpkin patch waiting for this, uh, like it's Santa Claus. He's waiting for the great pumpkin. Like, have we, have you thought about where that came from? Like how strange that Charles Schultz wanted to associate uh, like a Santa character with Halloween for Linus. And then we have all this World War One Red Baron, you know, the flying ace sort of thing. Like it's just so unique. And, uh, and I absolutely love this special. So that's that's got to be number one, right? And then another one that I watch every single year, and I've kind of passed this on to my daughter now, is it's become a tradition, even though it doesn't come on TV anymore as far as I know. And that's uh, it's the Garfield Halloween special, uh, Garfield's Halloween Adventure. Now, this is a three-pack that came out, oh, many years ago, 2004. So this thing is uh, very old. Um, and it has uh, all three of the primetime Garfield specials, the Halloween special, the Thanksgiving special, and then a Garfield Christmas. Uh, we watch all of these. Garfield Thanksgiving, eh, eh, it's not as good as the other ones. Uh, just my personal opinion. Uh, but what I love about Garfield's Halloween adventure is that um, the spooks are real. Uh, you know, a lot of, like, uh, Charlie Brown, most children's, uh, like, ha Halloween specials, there's no real sense of threat. Uh, th this movie, or this, uh, this special is very much, it's very unsettling. Uh, there are things that happen in this absolutely supernatural. Real ghosts, real pirate ghosts. Uh, there's like a creepy old guy who's sitting in a chair like a dead guy because maybe he is a dead guy. It's, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But this was absolutely made to be uh, like the answer to all those mushy, uh, weak Halloween specials. It's like, hey, let's and Garfield of all people. Like Garfield, you make Garfield the Halloween special where he's really facing ghosts that barely escapes with his life. I, I remember seeing this when I was a kid. And uh, it was all the talk at school the next day. It was like a really big deal. Uh, Everybody's like, did you guys see that special last night? That was creepy, right? Um, and I believe there's even like a comic book adaptation. Like a com like they used to do Garfield books. They were like long rectangular books. Uh, and I believe that this was adapted for that. Um, so moving on. what What is this doing? What is this doing in a Halloween specials video? Uh, this has just been reissued. How the Grinch Stole Christmas has just, as I'm making this video, just came out last week. Uh, and I was waiting on this. This video is coming a little bit later than I wanted it to because I had to wait for this to come in the mail. Uh, but this, for the first time ever, uh, Warner Brothers has included the other Grinch specials on this Blu-ray. What other Grinch specials? Well, there were two other ones. The Grinch, Grinch is the Cat in the Hat which I haven't watched yet, uh, and Halloween is Grinch Night, which was a Halloween special that came on October 29th, 1977, I believe. Um, 
and it's uh it's a Halloween special featuring the Grinch and it's like a prequel to how the Grinch stole Christmas and it's basically uh the Grinch is getting into mischief around Halloween time and I don't know that they ever actually say Halloween in the episode there's not the traditional Halloween approach um but here's the thing like I ne- I watched this on YouTube last year or the year before that I think maybe it was two years ago and like I discovered it on YouTube and uh, it's always been obscure I never remember it coming on television when I was younger uh maybe it does now on like ABC family what do they call it now uh ABC turn or something like that. They got this this cool name for the channel now. But anyway, ABC get turnt. I think that's what it's called. Um, and they uh, they show like nothing but Halloween specials and then Christmas specials and all this stuff. But um, maybe it comes on cable at some point in the year. But I had never heard of it before. And now, after all these years, how many times has this been released? I know I've bought it. This is the third time I've bought How the Grinch Stole Christmas. If they put it out on 4K, which it might be out on 4K now. If they put it out on 4K and I go 4K, I'll probably buy it again. But uh, this is the first time that they've ever put the sequel or the, you know, the, the Halloween is Grinch Night special on the, these packages. Uh, and so for the first time, we have Halloween is Grinch Night in HD. It looks great. Look, the special is not fantastic. It's cool. And I can see that as I watch it over and over, uh, it will become more special to me, I believe. I get will become part of the tradition because it is kind of so the voice of the Grinch is Hans Conried Conrad. I'm not sure how you say his name, but it's the voice of Captain Hook from uh peter pan and also uh tip of the hat to the drag pack the hanna barbera cartoon from i believe 1980 or 1981 he was also the voice uh of the bad guy in that but hans conried hans conrad is uh the the grinch in this taking over from boris karloff who i think had passed at that point um and so uh there's just like wacky mischief and shenanigans and actually we put this on last night and like my cat was well, like we have three cats one of the cats was just transfixed and there's actually video that will probably end up on an instagram post at some point of the cat being mesmerized by halloween is grinch night uh so it, it's cat approved now i want to throw something all but skewer at you it's mad 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 monsters this is essentially a sequel spin-off of mad mad monster party uh the rankin bass i would say classic i talked about it in the um the family friendly halloween movies family friendly horror movie video this is a i think it's about 45 minutes oh it's 66 minutes this was a saturday morning movie in uh, 1970 Oh, I don't remember. It was in the 70s. It was the early 70s. Uh, done by Rankin Bass. It's hand-drawn animation. It's it's traditional animation. And it features all the monsters from Mad Mad Monster Party. But it was presented as a Saturday morning movie. I really miss Saturday morning cartoons. I don't want to get too far off on that. But I really miss Saturday morning cartoons. When you could wake up and you could watch uh, you know, whatever for hours. Pour yourself a bowl of cereal. Watch some cartoons. Go pour another bowl of cereal if you feel like it. Um, and they would do like Saturday morning movies and you could just sit there until lunchtime. Uh, probably not the healthiest, you know, I understand that, but we, I feel like we've lost something, uh, with access to cartoons 24 hours a day. There's something less special about Saturday mornings to me now. Maybe that's just my age talking, but I sure miss being able to pour a bowl of monster cereal and, um, and experiencing that. Uh, this is coming at you from, it's not necessarily obscure, but it might be surprising. The Paul Lind holiday, uh, not holiday. The the Paul Lind Halloween special. Uh, this, you guys, is ridiculous. It is a variety show special from 1977, 1976. And uh, Paul Lind, like, what, <laughs> what a treasure Paul Lind was, you guys. He was always on Hollywood Squares. He was on Bewitched. He was a very openly eccentric man who somehow America seemed to just fall in love with. And he had all these variety specials, all these specials in the 70s. Uh, This is one of the most notable ones, also notable because it aired one time in 1976 and then just vanished off the face there. So maybe it wasn't as as successful as I think it was. Um, But it became, maybe, you know what? It's notorious. There we go. It's a notorious Christmas. I keep wanting to say Christmas. A notorious Halloween special. Uh, and it's got Margaret Hamilton, who was the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz in it. It's got the lady that plays Witchy Poo from the Sid and Marty Croft show. Uh, and most notably, it features not one, 
not two, but three performances from KISS. That's right. And that's really why I first tracked this down, because I wanted to see the KISS performances. Now, they're lip syncing. They're not performing live. They're just out there doing their gimmick. But it's a good gimmick, right? And it's from 1976 when they were like the hottest thing in the world. And so to have Paul Lind being like, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce KISS. That sounds like Mr. Garrison from South Park. That, that's not what I was trying to do. Anyway, my Paul Lind apparently needs work. Uh, we're going to do KISS. We're going to... I'm Paul Lind. Um, my name's Paul Lynn, and this is my Halloween special. This, this is Mr. Garrison. That's not Paul Lynn at all. Okay, so the Paul Lynn Halloween special. Uh, it is super weird. It's got appearances from Donnie and Marie Osmond. Uh, Florence Henderson. Uh, the, the chick that plays um, Pinky Tescadero on Happy Days. I can't. Roz, Roz something. Is it on here? Yeah, they don't even put her on the back. They're like featuring talented guests such as Tim Conway, Billy Barty, Margaret Hamilton, Billy Hayes, and Florence Henderson. They don't even talk about the Pinky Tuscadero, Roz, Pinky Tuscadero, something. You know who I'm talking about. Um, and this is that Kiss performs Beth, King of the Nighttime World, and Detroit Rock City. It's fantastic. It's so bad. Uh, I showed it to my wife uh, this year for the first time. And it, it's so bad, but that badness is what makes it good. Like, we find ourselves in a trucker sketch with Paul Lynn, like he's a truck driver. What in the world? Um, so that's the five Halloween specials. And then I have to give an honorable mention to something, uh, because it's not, it's not a real Halloween special. But it's the WNUF Halloween special. And this is, if you don't know what this is, this is a fake Halloween special from 1987, where... Uh, the, the premise was that this local TV channel was going to go into the house where a family was murdered uh, years before and do it live on TV. Like, when, remember when, if you're older, you know, if you're my age or maybe a little older, older you remember when Geraldo did that uh, live broadcast of like going, it was at Al Capone's tomb or something like that. Um, and then it was like nothing in there. But that's the idea. It's like a live broadcast of going into something dangerous and who knows what will happen and it's all done uh as if it were recorded on vhs as if someone recorded the event the the special on vhs that was done by this local tv channel in the 80s it's got all the commercials they've completely created like i don't even know 30 40 commercials that like none of this stuff actually exists for products that don't exist for places that don't exist petting zoos arcades shopping centers um TV shows that don't exist, movies that don't exist. It is amazing. And it's like there's a news broadcast that leads into it. So you get like the better part of a 30-minute news broadcast that also does not exist. Like it's a complete fabrication of a, uh, a local TV show's Halloween special. And this is now this is where it's controversial because I love this because it's such a an exercise in world building and they, they age it. So, I mean, it looks... There is no clue, there's no tipping that this is not really from 1987. If you've ever seen like 80s commercials on YouTube, they look really bad and they're degraded and everything. Like it's so authentic, but it's none of it's real. It's all fabricated. They did uh, three passes on a VCR to make it even look even crappier. So it's like a dub of a dub of a dub. It's fantastic. But here's the thing. So I have to tell you, this is not family friendly. Uh, it's an hour and 22 minutes long. And about an hour and 16 minutes of it is completely family friendly. Like nothing happens that would be upsetting. So you can watch it with your family if you want to. Like enjoy the funny commercials for like the local politicians and stuff. But then like the last five minutes of it, it gets, it gets really like Blair Witchy upsetting. And uh, so I showed it to my wife this year, a few nights ago. And she was really, she was like, yeah, this is fine. This is enjoyable. I appreciate what they're doing. And then like the last five minutes upset her <laughs> and she was like I don't like that that was really upsetting why did they do that and I was like well because it's supposed to be this terrible thing that happened on television um and she's like no I don't like so you are warned but I can't talk about Halloween specials and not talk about the WNUF Halloween special uh it's not a like it, it's technically not a movie and it's not a Halloween special it's this weird in-between thing so this is the only place that I felt like I could talk about it again because it's not a movie um, though it's an hour and 22 minutes long, it's this weird thing. So, uh, the WNUF Halloween special, this was streaming. It might still be streaming. I don't know if this is in print, but it's out there. So look it up. 
It's super cool. It's fun until it's not fun anymore. And even that has its charm to it. And it all makes sense. And you know, knowing my background, right? You guys know, like if you've seen my turmoil in the toy box video about the religious groups trying to to axe Halloween and like trying to protect kids from everything, uh, that's a that's a big part of that. So it resonates with me. Guys, that is what I have to talk to you about this year. These are the Halloween specials that I feel deserve your attention this year. Maybe next year will be different. Next year will absolutely be different. Next year, maybe we'll pick five more. But I want to thank you for hanging out with Cereal at Midnight on Halloween. If you're watching this and it's Halloween, happy Halloween. Happy trick-or-treating. Be safe out there. I hope you have a great time uh, wherever you're headed, whatever you're doing. Hey, I also have to mention that I put a spook playlist, a spook lounge. You know, I do the space lounge, right? Uh, I put a spook lounge playlist. It's at serialatmidnight.com. It's on my YouTube channel. If you go to the playlist section of the Serial at Midnight channel, I have compiled 13, unlucky 13 spooky tracks to get you in the Halloween spirit. Spirit. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. Be safe out there. Happy Halloween. And I will catch you later.